Hello my lovely YouTube family, welcome to today's spicy full body Pilates and yoga flow. We'll be drawing elements of Pilates and yoga today using just our own body weight to build strength and tone throughout our whole body as we move quite dynamically and playfully with the breath. So I hope that you enjoy. If you have not already subscribed, please consider doing so and give me a nice big thumbs up if you enjoy this practice. All right, when you're ready to get started, come onto your hands and your knees. Let's come into a tabletop position. You can stack your wrists beneath your shoulders and your knees beneath your hips. And then let's come right into a cow pose as you begin to arch your spine, lift your chest. And then exhale, round your spine as you contract, push away from the earth. Inhale, lower the belly again, lift the heart forwards. And then exhale, round the spine, contract. Inhale, arching the spine, finding that opening through the front of the body. And then round the spine as you create space through the back of your body. Let's go for one more, inhaling nice and slowly. And then exhale, round the spine, curl the body inwards. With that out breath, you can tuck the toes and lift your hips back, come right into a downward facing dog. Begin to pedal it out, bending into one leg at a time trying to press your heels a little bit closer to the floor with each breath cycle here. Hug your chest towards your thighs and take a nice grounded breath. And then with your next out breath, push into the hands a lot, lift your heels off the floor and roll forwards, come into a plank position. Stack your shoulders on top of your wrists and then sink your knees down to the floor. Keep your spine straight, your core engaged as we lower down Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra, we lift the heart forwards and then we slowly lower back down to the floor. Let's go for two more, slowly lift and then exhale, soften to the earth. Beautiful, last round, inhale, lift the heart forwards, peel the shoulders back. Exhale, soften down to the earth. Beautiful, reach your hands out in front of you now. Point your toes and lift your right arm up, lifting your left leg up. Try to point into the back toes, engaging through your left leg a lot. Lift your thigh off the floor, holding for five, four, three, two, and then one, drop your right hand down, changing sides, right leg lifts, left arm lifts, lift that leg nice and high for five, four, point the toes, three, two, and one, drop it down, other side, right arm lifts, left leg lifts, holding for five, fire up the bum, four, three, two, and one, drop it down, changing sides, nice and engaged through the leg, five, four, three, two, and one, one more time on each side, let's lift, firing it up, five, four, three, two, and one, drop it down, last side, inhale to lift, lift up a little bit higher, five, four, three, two, and one, lovely, soften down to the earth, hands beneath shoulders, tuck the toes, push yourself up into a plank position, take as many breaths as you need to get here, breathe in, and then as you breathe out, melt your hips back, make your way back into a downward facing dog. Beautiful work, beautiful work. Begin to lift your right leg into the sky, find a three-legged dog, breathe in, and then as you exhale, step your right foot outside of your right hand in a lizard lunge. Sink your left knee down to the floor and really pull the hips down as much as you can, working into your hip flexor and your inner thigh here. Take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, begin to straighten through your front leg, playing with half splits, pulling your right toes towards you, working a little bit into your hamstring here. Inhale, rock forwards, come back into your lunge, lift your left knee off the floor and come into an easy twist as you stretch your right arm into the sky. Now begin to lean into the right shoulder as much as you can. Take an inhale. As you breathe out, come into a side plank of your choice. So you're welcome to stack the ankles or place the right foot forwards or maybe kick this right leg a little bit higher. Up, hold for five, four, three, two, and one, listening carefully, drop the right hand down to the floor, glide your right foot over towards the left side as your left arm lifts, kick through, play with straightening through the front leg, hold for three, for two, and for one. Left hand meets the ground, three-legged dog, reach your right leg tall, breathe in, and then look forwards, come into a three-legged plank, try to keep your core nice and engaged, chaturanga slowly, 
Upward facing dog, slow and controlled inhale. And then downward facing, we roll the hips back. Beautiful work. Lift your left leg tall, three-legged dog. On the out breath, lizard lunge on the other side, sinking the right knee down to the earth. Melt the hips down to the floor. And take a nice cozy breath here. Keeping the right knee grounded to the earth, come into your half splits, hands stay on the floor. Keep flexing into that left foot as you bow down and linger and feel into your hamstring here. Inhale, look forwards, shift forwards, come into an easy twist as your right knee lifts off the earth. Reach into the left arm and then make your way right into your side plank. Whatever you played with on the first side, lift away from your right wrist and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Your left hand meets the ground, swinging your left leg over to the right side as your right arm lifts, kick the leg through, holding for three, maybe pointing the left toes, two, and one. Right hand meets the ground, three-legged dog, nice work. Send your left toes behind you, inhale. Exhale, shift forwards, try to stack the shoulders over the wrist in your plank. Chaturanga to your upward facing dog. Inhale, guide the shoulders back. And then roll it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, send your right toes back, find a three-legged dog. On the out breath, hug the knee to the right elbow, hold here. And then send the toes back, three-legged again, over to the left side. Now lift your left hand off the floor as you kick your right leg through, coming into that lifted fallen star position. Keep lifting the hips, hold for three, for two, and for one. Your left hand meets the ground, kick your right toes behind you, three-legged dog, inhale. As you breathe out, step in between your hands and start to reach your hands out in front of you in an arrow lunge. Inhale, keep the back leg nice and active. Exhale, take the hands behind you. Inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, take it back. Beautiful, stay with it. Inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, take it behind you. Beautiful, inhale, reach forwards. Last time, exhale, take the hands behind you. Sink your left knee to the floor, Anjayasana, arms grow tall, breathe in. Keeping those back toes tucked, lift your left knee off the floor and come into a twisted lunge, reaching your right hand behind you and your left hand in front of you. Now get nice and low through your back knee. Hold. Warrior two to the side of your mat. Ground into your feet. Okay, begin to lift your right heel nice and high off the floor. I want you to bend generously into your right knee. Breathe in and then drop the heel back down. We go again, four more. Inhale to lift. Exhale, you got it, lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower back down. Beautiful, two more. Breathe in to lift. Exhale, lower. Last round, inhale, lift, and exhale, drop it down to the floor, reverse your warrior, breathe in. And then take a rainbow warrior as we bend into the back knee, straighten through your front leg. Inhale, reverse your warrior again as you glide forwards, reach into the right arm. One more time, take it back, nice and low into your left knee. Inhale, reverse, opening it up. As you breathe out, take a wide-legged fold, just one breath, melt in between your thighs. Come into a halfway lift. On your out breath, horse pose, heels in, toes out. Take your hands to the back of your skull, nice and low through those hips. Okay, listening carefully. Start to lift your right heel off the floor, nice and high, through that heel and nice and low through the hips, hold. Beautiful, drop the right heel down and change sides. Left heel lifts, stay nice and low through the hips and drop the heel down. Two more times on each side, inhale, lift. Beautiful, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your left side. Exhale, lower down. One more time on each side, you got this. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift your left heel. And exhale, beautiful, drop both heels to the floor, straighten your legs, five-pointed star, breathe in. Find a warrior two, face the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then with your out breath, cartwheel your hands to the floor. Sink your left knee down to the floor and start to glide your right leg all the way back behind you. Straighten through the back leg. Let's go for 10, nine, nice and engaged. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Beautiful, drop your left forearm down to the floor. Keep your leg nice and engaged and lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, listen carefully. Start to swing this right leg all the way over to the side so your foot is in line with your left knee and then lift this leg nice and high. You got it, exhale, lower back down. It can be a small movement, doesn't matter. You'll really feel it. Inhale, let's lift. Exhale, lower. We're going for three more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower. Last round, breathe in to lift. And exhale, beautiful work. Drop the foot down to the floor. Sink your hips back and reach your hands out in front of you. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, shift forwards. Tuck your left toes under and send your right toes behind you. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Look forwards, shift forwards to come into a three-legged plank. Two chaturanga, two upward facing, straightening out the elbows and then rolling it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch your left toes into the sky, three-legged. Hug the knee over to the left elbow. And then take it back, three-legged dog. Over towards your right elbow. Lifting your right hand off the floor, kick your left leg through. Lift your hips, maybe pointing into the left toes, holding for three, for two. And for one, right hand meets the floor, send your left toes behind you, find a three-legged dog. Find a lunge, step forwards, reaching your hands out in front of you. Keep the energy in the back leg now. Straightening through the back leg, breathe in. Exhale, take the hands behind you, breathe out. Inhale, reach the arms through. And then exhale, take the arms back. Inhale, shift forwards. Exhale, take it back. You got this, stay with it, inhale. And exhale. Last round, breathe in, lift. Exhale, take the arms behind you. Nice work. Sink your right knee down to the floor. Anjayasana, low lunge. Reach the arms up. Tucking those back toes now. Lift your right knee off the floor. And then keep your right knee really nice and bent. Stacking your shoulders over your hips. We twist to the left. Left arm behind you. Right hand in front of you. Hold and reach. Or your two to the side of your space. Beautiful work, guys. Stay with it. Keep a smile on that face. Don't hate me. Okay. <laughs> Start to lift your left heel off the floor. Hold. Feel into the burn. And then drop it back down. Four more. Let's go for it. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lift. Beautiful, drop that heel to the floor. Slowly reverse your warrior. Whew, that was spicy. Okay, let's do this. Come into rainbow warrior, bend into the right knee, straightening through your left leg. Inhale, glide forwards and reverse your warrior again. And then one more time, take it back into your rainbow warrior. Inhale, glide the body forwards, reverse, stretch into the left arm. And then take a wide-legged fold towards the side of your mat. Melt right in between your thighs, hands to floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Let's go for our horse pose now, nice active squat. Last spicy squat of the day, hands to back of skull. Interlacing those hands nice and low through the hips. Lift your left heel off the floor, hold. And then drop it down. Other side, lift and lower beautiful again inhale lift your left heel exhale drop it down lift your right heel and drop it down last time on each side you got this inhale lift exhale lower <laughs> inhale lift and exhale lower both heels to the floor straighten your legs firm your bum reach the arms tall <sighs> warrior two Face the front to reach into your arms. And then reverse it out, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor, meet your left foot. And then dropping your right knee to the floor, we start to glide the left leg behind you, wrists are beneath shoulders, point into the back toes. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Drop your right forearm to the floor. Keep your left hand rooted to the earth. And then we lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Beautiful work. Nice and slowly now. Start to glide your left leg all the way over to the left side. Hold for a breath. We're going to lift for five, lower back down, four, lower back down, three, lower, two, and last one, lift, slowly drop your left foot down to the floor, shift your hips back as you reach your hands out in front of you, take a full breath in. As you breathe out, look forwards and shift forwards, keeping those right toes tucked, sweep your left toes behind you, three-legged dog. Look forwards and shift forwards into a three-legged plank, to chaturanga, to upward facing, push into the hands, reach through your heart, and then roll the hips back, downward facing dog. Take a nice generous breath in, and a nice big exhale. Begin to lift both heels off the floor now, and then bend your knees, hug your chest in towards your thighs, lift your gaze, and step, jump, or walk. Come into a yogi squat at the front of your mat. Guide your hands right into your heart space. Lengthen out of the lower back for a moment. Breathe in. As you breathe out, take your hands behind you and then keep your feet planted to the floor. As you reach your hands forwards, keep your core nice and engaged. So using your abdominal strength to roll down. I want you to roll down as slowly as you can. Nice and slow and controlled. And then once you make your way all the way down to the floor, we're not quite done yet, stay with me. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Lift your shoulders and your head off the floor as you reach your hands out in front of you. Now straighten your right leg out in front of you. Keep lifting your shoulders and engage through your abs. And then exhale, change sides. Hug the right knee in, left leg straight. Inhale, change. Kick into the foot. Exhale, change. Beautiful, keep that going at your own pace. I just want you to keep your head and your shoulders lifted so you're really working through your core here. Doesn't matter how fast you go. Let's go for another round of four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Hug both knees into the chest. Stay where you are. Last little bit here. Lift your hands. Lift your arms for ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Relax to the floor. <laughs> Wrap your hands around your knees. Allow your knees to fall wide apart. And then start to circle out the knees in opposite directions. So your right hand is on your right knee and your left hand is on your left knee. Allow the shoulders to feel soft to the mat. And just take a nice full and relaxed exhale. Change directions of the circles. And then you can gently begin to slow down the movement and cross your right foot over your left thigh in a figure four shape. Weave your hands in between your left leg here. And as you interlace your hands around your left shin bone, hug the left thigh closer into the heart as you pull the right knee forwards and away from you. You can gently release the interlace of the hands and then change the cross of your legs, left foot on top of right thigh, hands weave in between the right leg here. Relax the body as you feel into that opening through your outer hip, your glutes. With your next out breath, release that and uncross both of your legs. Wrap your hands around your shin bones, pull your forehead towards your knees and come into a really cozy little ball. Take a full inhale here. And then exhale, release and let it go. Come into Shavasana. Reach your legs out in front of you, hands to either side of your body, palms facing up. 
Relax the shoulders into the floor. Let everything hang loose and feel soft. Begin to deepen your breath. And then start to sense the movement in your toes and in your fingers as you start to wiggle it out. Finding some gentle stretches, circling out the wrists and the ankles, taking the hands behind you maybe. You can begin to guide your knees in towards your chest and give yourself a bit of a hug and a squeeze. And then cross your left foot over your right foot Rock yourself up into a seated position if you feel ready for it. Otherwise, you are, of course, welcome to stay as you are. Let's guide the hands into the heart and just take a nice connected breath 
as you drop the awareness into the heart space. Let's breathe in together, inhale, and exhale to let it go. Thank you so much, my friends, for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this spicy practice. Please let me know how you went in the comment section down below. And remember to subscribe if you have not already and give me a nice big thumbs up if you enjoy this practice. If you are interested in deepening your practice with me, I have an online membership called Tana Studio, which is my website where you will find longer flows of so full length, 60 minute and 45 minute flows along with some shorter spicy ones as well with breath work and meditation and lots of other fun stuff. And it's a beautiful, community growing on there so yeah I really I, it's a beautiful space if you are interested in joining it would be so lovely to have you uh, there is a three-day free trial if you are interested and you can cancel anytime um, but yeah that's there for you if you like otherwise I hope you have a beautiful day guys and I'll see you in the next practice